Hey, hey, folks, and welcome to another Ordinary Men Who Fight Like Heroes podcast. I am Chris Fearing, and I am joined at this big, extravagant, fastidious, laden table by... Drunks and Dragons, the Naren Bass. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And in celebration of such, I figured we would bring the topic around to one of our favorite things in the world. Different types of food and drink. Mm. Sounds delicious. It does. It does indeed. Indeed. indeed, 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 indeed. Oh. <laughs> so, roast favor- chicken. Favorite foods. <laughs> roast chicken. Wait. I, it's not even my meme. Um, so, favorite foods? Or favorite, favorite foods, foods for- beside vagina and or penis. <laughs> um, okay. Favorite foods. Like, you mean for Thanksgiving or period? I said without vagina. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 favorite foods period. Okay, favorite foods period. And you can't say penis. Blood coming out of vaginas. For a second, I thought you were gonna say you can't say pizza. I was about to gonna fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I'm stereotypical. Go for it. Pizza. I love pizza though. Pizza is like one of my favorites though. What kind of pizza? All kinds of pizza. I don't know. Like, what's a- your favorite kind of pizza? One that's laden with toppings, that's for sure. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite kind of pizza. I just know that, like... I your know favorite I don't kind want... of pizza? I guess... Figure out this Rubik's Cube, man. What's your favorite kind of pizza? <sighs> that's... There's a lot of toppings, though, because I like green peppers, and I like onions, and I like olives, and I like mushrooms, and I like sausage, and I like Canadian sausage, and I like bacon, and I like uh, So you pepperoni. wouldn't want a pizza that was just all of those things? Would that not be your favorite? No, I don't think so, because it gets to a point where there's like flavor overload, because like, there's jalapenos on it, and there's tomato slices on it, both of which are individually I like on pizza, but then like the pizza would be all like soggy and stuff because of all the juices that come from like the peppers and things like that. True, true. So it's like pizza works best when you have like a solid team combination of five, or like at most, but like it works at a solid like team combinations. Combinations. And, like, that's one of the magic about pizzas. You could always change it up. Feta cheese and banana peppers is really good. I also really like feta cheese and ham. That is, that kind of pizza is on point. With thin crust, that's good stuff. See? Mm. See what I mean? What's your favorite kind of pizza, Aaron Bass? I, you know, I, I'm probably the boring type. I like the pepperoni, the green pepper, the red pepper, bacon, uh, sausage. All one one? Sure, yeah. I'll oh, no, yeah, that'd be good. One, yeah. That'd be really good. I was going to say, you said feta cheese and ham. It's like you realize if you had like a couple of like uh, peppers and onions and like a tomato slices, you have like a garden pizza all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Or if you like substitute... Or, or a bad pizza. What? <laughs> you don't like all those things? I don't like tomato slices on pizza. You don't I'm like not, tomato slices? How do you feel? Someone, Some people have been like, isn't that redundant? And I'm like, you know, maybe. <laughs> if it's a fancy schmancy pizza, I'm okay with it. Yeah, if it's got like really good rich cheeses and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And a specific type of crust that's yeah. like made to accent to yeah, go with it. I feel weird but if being somebody like... was just like, I'm going to cut up these tomato slices and just chuck them on your pizza. <laughs> like, get them off of my pizza here. <laughs> I wouldn't because it's like, man, that's just what's underneath anyway. Yeah, but like... Yeah, it's like if you wore your blood on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I also really don't like Circular onions plates. on pizza too much. <laughs> huh? I don't like onions on pizza too much. You like onions on pizza? Well, yeah, you don't see onions. Quite... No, well, onions usually have to go with something else. Like you see them on like a supreme. You don't see them like it's just onions. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> no, but yeah. I mean like the only way I really like onions is if they're like if they've been if they've been sautéed. Oh yeah, but yeah, they well, go that, best. That's good. Then they go on burgers. Yeah. Or with steak. Or with steak. Mm-hmm. 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 Speaking of burgers, I was gonna say like, mm, there's no Five Guys near here. Yeah. That's probably you're right. There's no Five Guys near here. I mean, there's, I mean, yeah, there's one near here, but not like. No, 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 no. I'm just, no, I'm saying I'm, I'm, I, I think it's funny because there's one five minutes from where I live. <laughs> Man, I can go there whenever I want, but I've only been once since I moved up there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> For that reaction. Totally <laughs> worth it. You deny yourself No, I can go back there. I've gotten the joke gone. I gotta go back. <laughs> Get their fries. Yeah. Five guys is good. Fries, guys. I'm also, I'm, I'm just, in, in general, I'm a really, really big fan of, like, the, like, southern foods. Like, snap beans and, and collard greens and, uh, beef roast. 
with uh, big wedges of onion and big wedges of potato and carrot, like all stewed in the crock pot. That's holy good. shit! Yeah. That stuff's good. Some of those southern foods and throw biscuits. Me. Biscuits are my favorite food, hands down. That's right. You're telling us why yep. biscuits. Yep. You should tell everyone else why biscuits are the best. Biscuits are the best food because they can be eaten for any meal, and you can put anything on them, in them, around them, and it just it's perfect. I can't deny you argue with that. Last I cannot slather, deny them that them in, utility. slather them in jelly or gravy and eat them that way. Put honey on them. Eat them that way. Eat them cold. Eat them warm. Make sandwiches out of them. Make bref- breakfast biscuits out of them. Have them on the side. Have them with leftovers. Have them with freshovers. Whatever you want to fucking do, you can have biscuits, and biscuits can be the key ingredient, and it'll be fantastic. I can't deny the utility of biscuits. I really can't. Once you put it, once you put it in that lighting, it's like, oh man, you can put like sausage and egg on them. And the stuff. most mu- multifunctional food. And some people are like rolls do the same thing. Whoever has a fucking roll for breakfast, no one does. Fancy British people, maybe. Okay. Fancy British people have crusty old stale rolls for breakfast. Roll, you do not have a roll for breakfast. You have biscuits for breakfast. There you go. Um, some southern food, I can get behind some comfort foods. Yeah. So what about, like, Thanksgiving foods? Well, Aaron, why don't you start, since you brought it up? Well, uh, just Walk into your own bear trap, Aaron Bass. <laughs> Aaron's like, Fuss by my own petard. Aaron's like, fuck. And Aaron's <laughs> like, all right, I want ham cured in Oreos. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> I want macaroni and cheese with cheese nips on top. God. Ugh. God, I would eat that, though. <laughs> He wanted to do that at Sound House that one time, you remember? No, no, he wanted to break up the, the cheese nips and use it as part of the breading that you cook on top of it. Yeah, Which yeah. is at least infinitely more Fathomable. creative. Like, <laughs> it's more creative than just sprinkling cheese nips like you're trying to get like the crows to come eat breakfast in the morning. Like, oh, you're just like, here, ch- 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 just throwing out like cheese nips all over macaroni and cheese. Which, by the way, macaroni and cheese is good. Yeah, no, that's not a good thing to mention right now. That makes me hungry for macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is so fucking good. Especially when you get the bigger noodles with, like, the thick yes. cheese sauce. Yes. And, like, some little crumblies of bacon and stuff like that in there. Ooh. Just to make it even better. <laughs> so good. But no, no, seriously, yeah, though, you, you mentioned Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving foods. Yeah. Go, go ahead. For me, for me, like, I, I don't get any kind of fancy Thanksgiving. So for me, the fanciest I get is, like, cranberry sauce. I like cranberry sauce on a Thanksgiving meal. So. But, like, you, you have, the like. The jelly, crappy, I was like, from but, a can. But you have, like. That's still good stuff, though. Oh, you yeah. have, like, a foundation, though. You're, like, you still have, like, tur- oh, yeah, turkey. turkey and cranberry sauce. Turkeys and, are good. Like, yams and stuff. But. Turkeys cooked for hours in the oven, and they come out, and they're so juicy, and mm, it's good. You can put, you know what you can, you you can do with cranberry turkeys, sauce? Turkey's great, too. What's that? Put it on a biscuit. Yes, yes you can, and it is really damn good. Mm-hmm. Mm. But um, you know what we have for Thanksgiving rolls. <laughs> but it's, it's dinner time. That's true. So it's fine. That's true. But um, Actually, I can eat those rolls that my mom bakes. Usually time. for uh, for Thanksgiving, whenever I've had it before with my family, it's always been kind of a potluck. Like all the sides, all the different uh, people in my mom's family will bring something. So we've got like the turkey mashed potatoes and gravy. My sister will always make steamed broccoli with cheese sauce on top of it. There's uh, two different kinds of stuffing. There's regular stuffing and then a smaller thing of stuffing that's got oysters in it because that's my grandfather's preferred type of stuffing. (laughs) So my mom will make a little dish for him. Um, We got cream corn. We got collards. Cream corn, no! (laughs) We got got, um, sweet potatoes without the marshmallows because they never learn, do they? We've got, um, unfortunately, rolls, no biscuits, and that's probably why our family broke apart. Um, <laughs> we've also got... Now, when you said, like, sweet potatoes with no marshmallows, you mean, like, it's sad that they have no marshmallows? Or yeah, I'd rather like... have the marshmallows on it. Yeah, like, it's good with the marshmallows. But it's got a good sprinkling. And then um, something that my uh, that my aunt makes, that's her congealed salad, that is... Awesome. You gotta like get the recipe for the that. The words congealed awesome. and salad don't seem to go. Yeah, like no, I'm trying they to figure don't out actually sound good, yeah. but it's like it's cranberry sauce 
that's been made into like a jello. Okay. That's got really, really like finely, finely crushed pecans in it and whole cranberries in it. Okay. Mm. And it's got that sweet but tart thing, so it's like it's perfect for a dessert, or it's perfect to go with some turkey or something like that, and it is awesome. That okay, I can see that. It is awesome, good. but yeah, that's 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 Gen- our basic spread. Man, generally, I don't like cranberries though. That's the thing. Like cranberries are, I forget who was talking about. I think it was like um, Stephen Colbert was talking about cranberries being awful, and I could not agree more. Are, are you sure you're not meaning John Oliver? Actually, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, it just sounds familiar to me too. Now you mention yeah. it. Let's see, yeah, I, check I, it I out. love craisins. I was gonna say, freaking um, craisins are all right. I like craisins. Sweet potatoes are good. I have sweet potatoes mashed and like with I don't know what kind of seasoning that's like put in there or whatever, but like they're served in like orange peels, like they're baked in the orange peel. Oh yeah. Huh. Like it's like so it's like a little bowl and then with the marshmallows on top and like the orange flavoring of the inside of the peel does something to the sweet potato stuff. Really? Yeah. Like huh. it's neat. Um, it's neat when you bake things inside things to get different flavors. Yep. <laughs> Like stuffing. Or a turducken. Or a turducken. I like stuffing. I like the stuffing that my mom makes. I saw stuffing at, like, school. Like, you know, like, you go for school lunches and they try to simulate Thanksgiving. And, simulated like, stuffing... Thanksgiving. S- stuffing looks... Simulated Thanksgiving. Simulated Thanksgiving. It's, at, at, like, the high school level for, like, free food meals or whatever. The stu- Like, the stuffing always looked like... Oh, cool. Is that, like, simulated sex? No. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to derail this at this point. But God. it's just... <laughs> well, we are talking about food. I'm I'm saying though the stuffing looked like fucking someone served me a like a thing of mashed pa dog food. <laughs> and I'm just like, this looks awful. But like the stuffing I have at home is like good because it's like there's actually like mushrooms and onions in it and parsley and sage and rosemary and thyme. <laughs> I'm I'm not actually kidding, those are in there. I don't know, like thyme. Yeah, thyme. Like the herb. The herb th- that you get when you get the herb. Th- <laughs> so, stuffing's good. Dude, Ooh, dude. mashed potatoes are good. Yep. Good mashed potatoes are yeah. always good. Smoother lumps. Smooth. Mm, I don't know. Medium. Yeah, I guess... Like, I'm sorry, like, it's like... I don't want it to be, like, too smooth, because yeah. I'm trying not to eat grits in Thanksgiving, though grits are good. Grits are good. Grits are good. But I'm not trying to eat grits at Thanksgiving dinner, or at least not grits in substitution of mashed potatoes. But I don't want it to be too lumpy, because you might as well just give me a baked potato at that point. Yeah, yeah. So, somewhere in the middle. And you if it peels in there, that's fine, too. What was that? Pour them over a biscuit. <laughs> you know what you could do with grits? What? Just put cheese on them and eat them, or just eat them with salt. Actually, I think I like my, my favorite grits are just butter and salt. You know Actually, what you can do with grits? What? Some light buttering, maybe a little Slatter bit of cheese and some chest. shrimp. To wax myself with them. I don't know if they're really bad grits, I guess. You know, honestly, like... Did you say shrimp? Yes. Really? Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits is amazing. Really? Shrimp and grits is a southern delicacy. Not even not even joking, <laughs> not trying to troll. Man, you weird, South. I mean, <laughs> Go somewhere and get shrimp and grits, man. You'll be like, how come I haven't tried this before? Because my parents are I feel so the, dumb. Because my parents are not from the South, but they actually moved here from Florida, but... Because Florida's not even the South. Of the I yeah, South it's, trash can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're old people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, um, no, no, it's like, okay, you th- you're like, oh, shrimp and grits, or shrimp and grits? But yeah, think about I'm it. more of like, Think what? about this way, think about this way. Think about this way. Chocolate peanut butter. Oh, uh, okay. It's that kind of, it's that kind of deal. Which one's the chocolate? No, <laughs> It's the shrimp I'm thinking. No, the grits is the chocolate. The grits is the chocolate. The shrimp's the peanut butter. Okay. So check the... So that means I can have a shrimp and jelly sandwich. Yes. And it's like cranberry <laughs> sauce on a biscuit, and I look down, and I'm like, <gasps> full circle. I gotta, I gotta say, though, my favorite kind of meats are seafoods. Really? Yep. Really? And not not fish. I'm talking like like mussels or clams or scallops or crab legs. That's all. Huh. Huh. Mm-hmm. Favorite, hands down. Really? Mm-hmm. Because, like, if my favorite meats are, like, things that are, like, you know, like, things that were once Land animals. Yeah, that once walked among us. Carnivorous, you know, I mean, herbaceous beasts. Something that once walked, walked among earth. us yeah. that I can kill and stab to death with a rock and <laughs> eat its skin. Mm, especially if I can, like, toast it and the skin gets nice and crispy and stuff. Oof. And it's seasoned right. Yeah. Mm, delicious. That's good stuff. Like chickens. Yeah. Yeah, chicken's Ch- good. Chicken. <sighs> chicken. 
Chickens are good. Man, I really wish I didn't have anywhere to, like, be tomorrow or anything like that. So I could be like, we need to go get food. <laughs> talking about all this food. This is, like, the worst one to do late at night. Yeah. Also, I really, really love any kind of, like, hearty stew. Hearty stews are really good, yeah. Uh, Especially yeah. when it's, like, really thick. You got big pieces of, like, potato in there. You got big pieces yeah. of meat in there. Yeah, big old hunks of beef in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Bit, like, whole tomatoes that have just been, like, squashed. The slices of carrots. And put in there, yeah. Fuck, some snap beans. What the fuck is a snap bean? Wedges of... Ask. What? It's the long green beans. Oh, oh, those? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, I people call them green beans. We always call them snap beans because when you pick them out of the field and bring them in with a bucket, you snap them in half before you cook them because oh. it lets them cook faster and get softer. Snap oh. beans. Okay. I just think of them like green beans. I like green beans. Green beans. Put some lima beans in there. Take some okra and chop it up and dump it in there and get it real soft. That's, man, that stuff was all in the... Um, beef stew that my grandmother used to make and the coolest thing was she would make it in this huge fucking like eight gallon pot huh. and she would make that much of it that's crazy and the best thing was because she made all her own preserves and shit like that the only thing she would have to send it home with us would be these huge fucking quart jars. <laughs> so we would have quart mason jars filled with beef stew wow. sitting in the fridge. <laughs> so quite literally, it's like snack time, lunch time, dinner time, anytime you go down and have yourself a big ass bowl of hearty soup, yep. sit inside while it's 90 degrees outside with the air conditioning blaring and a fucking knit cap on. <laughs> it's winter anyway, dicks. <laughs> Just eat the huge ass bowl of soup. It's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Indeed. Okay, so, besides, bes like, okay, well, one more thing, and then we'll move on from food. Um, favorite fruit? Oh, that's, why is, that should be easy. But Strawberries and pears are fighting to the death on a hill of corpses, mainly <laughs> surrounded by corpses of grapes. Ah, uh, I'm waiting to see who the winner is. <laughs> Aaron? For me, I'm gonna, like, I've eaten the most bananas, so I'm gonna have to go with bananas. I was gonna say that would be your favorite food as a joke. Man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, bananas are good. Mine's peaches. Uh, yeah, no, peaches are good. Peaches strawberries are good. and pear just stabbed each other at the same time and died in each other's arms. <laughs> <laughs> so strawberry, so um, it's a it's a toss up between strawberries and pears. Strawberries. Strawberries. <laughs> I I just like not cranberries. I like pear. I cranberries. like pears, especially when they're soft. Like the yeah. Soft pears and they're juicy, so you're like. <laughs> Ah yeah, I can't do a good chair. <laughs> like I want to fucking and do it and just like smiling really big open mouth so everything's kind of leaking out like oh yeah. <laughs> you bite yeah, into one. Like, I feel like sprinkle pear juice. I feel like I've never successfully eaten an orange, even though I've peeled them and eaten them. It's it's always been like a struggle, and it's always been this like it's, it's an ordeal. Yeah, you start from the beginning yeah. and you're like this is gonna be awesome, and then you get halfway through peeling and it's like. This is too much work. Yeah, and, and then you like, get done with it, and it's like, I don't even want this anymore. Yes! <laughs> Oranges try their best to defeat you. And, and, you and find the it, flavor, I love the flavor, I love the smell. I wish they tasted as good as the smell is, but yeah. it's just like... And you try to peel off those extra bits of yeah, the inner rind from yeah. the outside. It's like, this is going to taste really tart and bland and like really just pasty. I don't want to have this. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong Tangerines are in that same neighborhood, I guess. Well, tangerines are a bit better. Oh, plums are really fucking good. Grapes are good. Ooh, I like grapes. Yeah, grapes are good. I like bananas, but I like also like... I like bananas because I like banana pancakes and banana shakes. So really, I just like the aftermath of <laughs> bananas. Pineapples are also really fucking good. Yeah, they are. Watermelons yeah. are really good. I've never really had a lot of watermelon. Neither have I. Watermelon's fucking awesome. Mmm. Mm. It looks like one of those fruits where it's like, I want that kind of, like, during the summer when it's hot and stuff, and yeah, I see it. Yeah, but I, I swear, it, you eat like a lot it. of watermelon, you're going to have to pee a lot, because it's quite literally just water. Yeah. Say okay, water. speaking of which, moving on, favorite drinks. Let's start with Sody Pops. Sody Pop. okay. Favorite the, Sody Pops, go. The cherry flavors win, obviously. Obviously, the cherry flavors are superior to the regular flavors. Yep. So, so, fa game. so favorite, favorite soda, hands so, down, for go. For me, it's Dr. Pelple. Dr. Pelple? Yeah. What about you, Justin? Probably probably a toss-up between, like, Cherry Coke and Cherry Pepsi. Everything's fighting to the death in your mind. Yeah, everything... <laughs> I, you know why I have trouble... You know why I have trouble picking winners? I have trouble picking winners because I like variety. So it's like, I don't want to, like, give up something. So... Well, you know, you're not it. giving up something. You're just I saying know. what you like more. Like, if you, if you saw a can of each and someone was just like, you can take one of those. 
I'd probably grab the cherry Pepsi actually. Okay. Just because of my loyalty to Pepsi, out of like a we- like a weird, m- maybe possibly misplaced loyalty to Pepsi, just because like my dad used to do truck driving for Pepsi, so I'm a Pepsi man. <laughs> it's like that's that's how you win loyalty in Game of Thrones. You just find out who's Pepsi drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Your loyalty has been misplaced. Oh, you like Coke better? Yeah. Ah, uh, Coke's good though. It's like Coke doesn't taste so much just like straight out. Sugar water. Yeah. Sugary. I straight do, out. I do stra- like Pepsi, but... Coke's, Coke tastes more like soda to me. Yeah. Pepsi tastes more like immediate tooth rot. <laughs> like, it's just that it's it just that much more sweetness. Yeah, I go for the sweetness sometimes, so I, I, I go for grab the Sugar Pepsi baby. Water. Yeah. <laughs> like pouring. Yeah. Favorite kind of Coke, though, is vanilla Coke, hands down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But favorite soda... Is you you guys know where this Mountain is going? Dew. Orange Crush. What? No, it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> okay, but Mountain Dew is good too. Uh, wait, you you said Dr Pepper? Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's really isn't it bad. like Orange Crush for you or Grape Crush? No, it's Grape Crush, isn't it? Uh, isn't that what you guys? It's not because like? I'm black, man. No, I don't pick everything just based on my color. <laughs> We're awful people. <laughs> I, I'm awful because I stand by and let this happen. I don't come in and actually mediate these two. Now, you see, I'm glad that we narrowed it to sodas because if I was like, what's your favorite kind of drink? This guy over here would just be like, Fodas. <laughs> no. <laughs> that might be my favorite drink. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, man. okay, moving beyond sodas then. What's you guys' favorite drink? Like, okay, what's you guys' favorite kind of juice? Oh. And, and Aaron, I'm not talking about gin and juice. <laughs> I'm talking about like mm, apple not juice, alcohol. apple juice, grape juice, orange juice. Apple juice is fine. Grape juice is good, but only for breakfast, or at least I couldn't drink it like at other parts. It'd be weird. Yeah. I might want to go probably like a grape juice, but I always like mix that shit half and half with sel- like seltzer water. Nice. That sounds like a good way to drink it, actually. That's how I drink yeah. all my juices, man. That's uh, how I got. Yeah. That's what Ethan the, always gets when he comes over here. Man. Yeah, yeah. Juice that's, man. that's what Ethan always gets when he comes over here. He's so always like, can you make me? You'll go woohoo. He's like, can you make me a just woohoo? Whenever he's over here, I'm like, yeah, man, I'll do that. <laughs> it's like, man, then you just buy some juice and buy some seltzer water. Nice. You like fifty fifty, and then you're good. It's mix, grapefruit juice for me. Mix it in a cup. Yeah, I, I, apple juice for me. Really? Although orange juice is probably comparable. Like, yeah, number two. Yeah, comparable. Okay. Beyond juice, favorite favorite kind of drink. I mean, if it, if it's a juice, that's fine. You mean just like to drink overall? Yeah, just you get the choice of something to drink. Just like you're having lunch during the day. What do you want? If it, if I had it re- like if there was a really good sweet tea, I would go for that. Probably like and see, I would think you'd say milk. Oh, sh- uh, yeah, well, milk. that's when you can milk. just be like, well, <laughs> milk. That's yeah. a category in and of itself. Your favorite kind of milk, and it's obviously not one percent or yeah. skim. Yeah. It's two percent. It's two percent yes. or whole milk. Yeah, or two percent most likely. Yeah, because let's face it. But whole milk is like, it's good, but you know what's wrong when you're drinking. It, you're just like, I sh- this is. Oh, uh, yeah. God, <laughs> holy shit! I was gonna say chocolate milk is even better. I like chocolate milk. Chocolate milk's pretty good. Hell yeah. Oh, man, you know what? I gotta say, I like the pre-made chocolate milk you can get in the stores better than, like, the chocolate milk you make at home with, like, some syrup. chocolate syrup yeah, and mix it up. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it's got, like, that more consistent... Yeah, it's... It, it, it's, the, it's, a kind, it's a kind of milk that's the perfect blend between milk and milkshake. Yeah. Because it's slightly thicker than regular milk, but it's got that, cho- man, that like, the, good, even chocolate the flavor chocolate, to it. The yeah. chocolate milk dispenser in the Greensboro cafeteria was just, like... Hey man, did you just want to drink a milkshake? Yeah, with like it smelled like it was. It was. It. I actually mixed that shit half and half with regular milk. Wow. And still had a solid chocolate milk, ice cold, like thick, but not like nasty thick. Good taste chocolate milk. That's it like was but amazing. It was so intense. I was like. I'm just gonna mix. I'm just gonna like go this much with milk, and then the rest of the chocolate milk, and then stir it with a spoon. Like it was because I didn't want to be like constipated. I was afraid I'd get like constipated. It was. It was such a good flavor. After having a glass and such like the perfect kind of chocolate milk. Most days, if I just went in there by myself to get a quick meal, I could get like two glasses of that Ugh. and be not hungry until the next meal came about. Wow! Like it would coat my stomach that, to that the point like where it heaven. was like, no, it's. Oh my god, man! It was so awesome, man. Huh? So How so so overall How drink overall drink is milk for you. Yes. What about you? Mm. 
the thing I drink all the time, though, is, like, juice and seltzer. But I don't know if I want to say, like, that's the thing I want to drink forever. You know, I don't know if it's like, that's my favorite drink. I was going to say, some guy, like, I was going to say, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't drank enough different kinds of coffees. I don't know. It's just, I was, I'm trying to think of other drinks. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's go to, like, what's your favorite? Oh, for you guys, it would be, like, coffee drinks. Well, okay. for me, it would be energy drinks. Oh, okay. Your favorite yeah. kind of go drink. Like go go like go go drink yeah. go go drink oh man I I like to have like a, a mocha or some like nicer coffee ooh or Scottish Conqueror those are good what's in that um English toffee for one ooh no they're good yeah Scottish Conquerors are really nice smooth and they're all smooth because they're all coffee beverages mocha's just like a mo it's a mocha it's got chocolate in there or whatever blah 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 it's it's good though how about you Andres I haven't experimented with the energy drinks but I think I'd probably take that over a coffee. Normally, like I know there's uh, my brother's got like this uh, taste for some kind of monster that has like a, a coffee in it. Oh, yeah, those, so, yeah, so I would go for that because I've had that and it's incredible. All right, I mean, it's like, mm. well, for me, for me, it's the it's the NOS energy drinks. I mean, I've I've tried, I've had a lot of energy drinks and they all like affect me somewhat differently, but um, before this NOS stuff, it was actually the monster M80s, the orange monsters. Best tasting energy drink I've ever had, but NOS is really good. It's like it's it's like, it tastes and it kind of smells like kind of a tropical fruit drink, but with like the fizz, and you can kind of taste that it's an energy drink. Red Bull's pretty good, and I also really like Full Throttles, both the uh, the blue and the black flavors. They're just they're they're just really good. But um, okay, another one. You guys will be able to answer this a bit more than me. Favorite alcoholic drinks? Oh, boy. Alky beverages. All right. Okay, we can, we can start with beer. Favorite kind of beer, and then we can move on to favorite kind of hard stuff. I was going to say, favorite, I, like, I actually prefer beer to hard stuff. I'd rather, if I'm going yeah. to get drunk, yeah. or if I'm going to be, like, foreseen that I might get drunk, I'd rather it be off of, like, some nice craft beers than, say, like, off of a handful of shots. Yeah, but that's all, that's all well and good, but you you got to have a favorite beer, and then if someone lines up a bunch of, like, hard liquors, you got to have one that you like, I'd rather have this. Oh, well, okay, um, so, we'll start with hard liquors, then. We'll start with beers. We'll start, oh, okay. Beers, Beer go for it. liquor, never sicker, but sure. Yeah. Well, okay, um, craft, let me see, there's, Legend has a good, uh, is a good, is a good beer. Um, gosh, I think it's, like, I think it's their brown ale or something like that. I can't remember. There's a few different like ones under Legend, but Legend is the one I always get when I go into coasters. Mm. And if they don't have that, last time I got like Fish Dog Head or some shit like that. Um, that was that was good. Uh, ooh, Blue Moon's pretty good. Shock Top's not bad. Yingling's pretty good. Apparently they don't get Yingling out on the West Coast. Hmm. It stops somewhere around the Mississippi. Hmm. Apparently. Um, That's funny. Let me see. I don't really don't know. I, I think it might be Yingling for me, but I haven't really like. I, we drink the most like shock tops, and I can't really. No, Magic Hat number nine, man. Oh, well, that's yeah. they're good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're good too. But I don't know if I could say that's my favorite. I don't want to say it's my favorite either, but like they're good. Um, gosh, I haven't had like a good beer in a while. Hmm. I'm gonna have to remedy that. Well, for me, in beer type drinks, it'd be uh, it'd be hard cider above beer. And it'd oh be yeah, the, some hard ciders are really good. The too. Uh, the amber of um, woodchuck. Woodchuck, yeah, they they have really nice yeah. ciders. I Woodchuck's like pear is also really really good cider, but uh, I'd, I'd go with an amber woodchuck. Man, there was this uh, total wine that we went into when we were in Fairfax. Um, and we walk in there, and they had like a shell, like they have a grocery store sized like length, like aisle of individual beer bottles. Like the art on all these different crazy bottles was, and all the different flavors and all these different beers was is just worth it to gawk at as a wall. That's even if cool. If you were planning on drinking anything, and if you weren't drinking, planning on drinking anything, you just might just looking at the crazed variety. That was one of my favorite things about going somewhere where you guys to buy beer yeah. is like looking at the different the like names like different and labels and shit. stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, there's some good names and some good labels and shit. Oh man, um, for hard alcohol, that Captain Morgan's like 
not the spiced rum. They're, I like their spiced rum, but they're like kooky parrot rum or whatever the fuck that's like flavored. Mm -hmm. That shit is the devil. <laughs> remember like we had like those some... Parrot Bay rum? Yeah, the Parrot Bay rum. Yeah, I remember it being good. I also, I also remember like... Just, just kind of like you made like it, and I had enough of it, so I was like, oh, it's kind of like, 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 it's there was this nasty lemon shit that, that we drank when we were playing. Uh, like. There was some nasty lemon shit we were drinking when we were watching Congo. Yeah, I did not do good, but that was the best. That was the best viewing of Congo I ever had in my whole life. Was that when we were all over it, Seth? <laughs> yeah, okay. I got like fucking just. I had like seven to eight shots, and we went to cookout. Yep, and I threw up most of that cookout. We, and we were farrowing. We were we were gone. That that was the best. That's so, a, what were you gonna say about Kraken? I just didn't like it. It's strong. It, it's I strong. I don't even know, I I can't even remember if I've even had it. I think I've just stared in fear at the bottle. <laughs> I don't know. So what about you, Aaron Bass, for hard liquor? Um, you know, uh, whiskey's not bad, but even even that, I don't. I wouldn't like prefer. I don't think I, I like too much hard, uh, hard liquor. Ooh, yeah, whiskey's not bad. Uh, well, Jack Daniels is a whiskey, right? I'm not stupid. Jack Daniels? Jack Daniels? I've mixed Jack Daniels with Pepsi before in the, uh, sweet during, um, one of the, uh, during one of the, um, that one convention in Greensboro that I went to. It was only a couple days, isn't the place? What is it called? Uh, shit. It's when I was an officer in Skubed. I'm trying to think of it, what it was called. And then, like, I can't believe I'm blanking Cubicon? Out. Cubicon, thank you. When I went to Cubicon, like, I went up to, like, the suite where they had, like, free food and stuff for, like, volunteers and stuff, because I did run a game there, mm -hmm. and I did volunteering for, like, four hours, or, like, I did, like, I did, like, a grand total of, like, eight hours of volunteering over the, like, over the two days or so, um, so I went up to the suite where they had stuff for, like, people that were volunteering, and in the one suite for those who were old enough, there was, like, a free bar, like, a free mini bar or whatever, and I was, like... Well, the fuck? I'll take this Pepsi, and I'll take this Jack Daniels, and I'll just have nice. some whiskey and shit. And I had whiskey and a Pepsi, and I'm like, this is the best Pepsi ever. <laughs> That's your favorite kind of soda. I Actually, I need to try that again to see if it's as good as I remember. But, ooh! Um, and, uh, Frangelico's, um, the core in, uh, Cherry, uh... Dr. Pepper. Cherry Dr. Pepper. You had that. Yeah, it was that very shit, good. That shit was super smooth. That shit was the smoothest... That was good. But liqueurs are good, like Deserano. I like those. They're nice poured over, like, anything dessert-wise. Okay, perfect segue. Favorite kind of dessert? Oh, now that's my style. <laughs> uh, um, well, you can leave. Uh, um, it's, it's brownies for me. That's a that's a solid choice. Like, good, rich brownies that have that chewy yes. kind of texture to them. Yeah, I was going to say, if I want a brownie, I better get the outside one where, like, at the ring of it where yep. it touches the pan. It's, like, kind of maybe, like, extra chewy or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah an edge brownie. Yeah, an edge Or the corner brownies. Edge guard brownie. Yeah. yeah. I'm having a hard time thinking something better than brownie. Like, I like a good cookie. If it's a really quality cookie, I think... Like, what kind of cookie? Uh, chocolate chip, or even macadamia nut, or, um, even oatmeal cookies. Yeah, oatmeal like, cookies are baller. Yeah, Miss Rosinki made really good oatmeal cookies this past weekend when we, uh, I was house-sitting, and that was, like, I don't let normally like oatmeal cookies, but those things were going fast. My mom's, uh, jelly thumbprints. Yeah, those, those are fucking are, good. Those are fucking Her amazing. ginger cookies are also Her really fucking good. gingerbread cookies are very amazing, too. The Russian tea cakes, mm. also good. Um... The fucking butter cookies. The secret's orange juice with that with those actually. Nice. The secret ingredients orange juice. Can you believe that shit? I can't believe that shit. But it's a buttermilk cookie. Oh man, um ice cream. I like moose tracks ice cream. I like chocolate moose tracks ice cream. That's too much chocolate. But I love it. Because it's chocolate ice cream and moose tracks has like chocolate in it, like in weird veins. 
huh. of chocolate. Like it's it's like someone was just like chocolate matter, and then there's just like yeah. And it's, I, I don't know. It's not like you can see that they deliberately gla- like you know glazed it in there or striped it in there. Uh-huh. It's just like weird veins of hard cho- like hardened because of the cold chocolate, and then on top of that. With like little dwarves with would be mining little, this little, chocolate like, out of it, pretty much with little <laughs> with little Reese's cups in there, mm, and so yeah. it's that and chocolate ice cream. So it's just like this is too chocolatey. Eat a whole carton, never poop again. <laughs> <laughs> for um, me, it's for me, it's classic strawberry. You like classic strawberry? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's a good choice. Ooh, milkshakes are good. Milkshakes yeah. are good. What's yeah. your favorite kind of ice cream here? Favorite ice cream? Uh, really, it's got to be like. Are like chocolate and vanilla swirl, because I am what I eat. Nice. But uh, nice. No, oh. I also like uh, the orange flavor, the um, sherbet. Yep. Man, we all got ch- vanilla chocolate swirl when we went to New Quality. And that's because we that's there. the best. We were sitting there, we were debating yeah. it, and it's just like, fuck it. And we all are like, <laughs> chocolate vanilla swirl, please. I'm five. I don't know what chocolate vanilla swirl is. Give it to me. But um, oh, but milkshake wise, actually, swirl, I do get uh, banana pineapple a lot. My favorite one is um, is cookies and cream when it's the vanilla ice cream and the Oreo cookies. It's my favorite kind of milkshake. I like. I was gonna say like for some reason it's just like immediately cookout and it's like some people may not have cookout. That's your favorite kind of milkshake is cookout. <laughs> yeah, my favorite kind of no, my favorite kind of milkshake is um. Let's call the guys and get milkshakes M&Ms. every single night. <laughs> I was going to say, M&M every milkshakes are good. Pe- Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Is milkshakes. <laughs> Reese's Peanut Butter Cup milkshakes at Cookout are super good because the fucking Reese's are huge chunks. So good. You uh, always get the orange push-up milkshakes. It always That's your that's yeah. your go-to, it seems Yeah, like. like if I can't think of something, I will go. That or that. double chocolate. Yeah, yeah, that or double chocolate. Better than but caramel. I, it sounds like uh, yeah. the Oreo is going to have to... Like, get That's on my list good now. stuff, dude. Yeah, gotta, and, the, gonna, and the way they crack up the Oreos, they still got some of the cream on the cookies and <clears> stuff like that. I gotta try this. Yes, it's good man, stuff. Man, it's kooky. Uh, oh man, which I was gonna say like favorite fast food place since I oh, mentioned yeah. cook, since I name dropped Cookout. <laughs> I really don't know. That's a that's if you can label it as fast food. My favorite kind of fast food is uh, is barbecue. But that's so few and far between of places. That's not really a fast food. Well, I mean, enough yeah. of a thing to get a fast food joint get, out of. You can get barbecue at a lot of. Different um, places, it's right? not. It's not McDonald's. It's probably Taco Bell. Really? As of right now, it's Taco Bell. I, I can't. I don't. I don't know. I've never been impressed with Taco Bell. Five Guys strike you as fast food? I, no. Five Guys is not fast food. Fast, fast food is fast. Yeah, exactly. Fast food's uh, Five Guys is a sit down restaurant. All right, then I'm gonna. Uh, okay, Five Guys, your sit down restaurant, not fast food. Just because that's like, that's obvious and op. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go with Wendy's. Possibly. Wendy's is good. Wendy's is Wendy's good. Wendy's yeah. is really good. They got nice, fresher stuff on their menu. Um, I fucking like chicken, and they have like three different, four different chicken sandwiches. Thank yeah, Christ. Yeah. Oh man, um, they also have baked potatoes. You can also get baked potatoes. My yeah. mom likes that. <laughs> they have the spicy chicken nuggets. Those are good. Yeah, those are really good. It's their weird. fries are good too. Chicken places in general are really good. I also I, I want to give a shout out to Popeyes. Huh? Popeyes is fucking awesome. I want to give a shout out to Subway, even though we, yeah, I only gets, get the it, one thing. It there. gets too much of a bad rap. Yeah, to be I, honest. Yeah, it's it's it pretty good stuff. Who? A lot of people. Well, they're really? talk, they'll they'll talk, they'll like name other. Sandwich places like so much better than Subway, and I've been to these other sandwich places. I'm like, well, you know, when I go to Subway, I don't get a sandwich that's soaked completely through the bread. Yeah, yeah, that's not something. I would rather go get a Philly cheesesteak from Subway or a tuna melt with white cheese or with American cheese and little bit, little, little, little bit of lettuce and some cracked pepper on there. And have it toasted, rather than go to another place and get like quote unquote fresher ingredients and have it soaked entirely through the bread, even though it's toasted. Thank you. So yeah, who I feel like I that? feel like you're secretly like coding like there's a place you've been to that does this. Firehouse subs sucks. All right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bam. I was gonna say I'm waiting for shots called on someone. You like having sandwiches that feel like you're eating them underwater? Firehouse subs. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. Now, is that like, 
Have you been to the one here, or is it like... The one here, the one in uh, Chesapeake. Oh, wow. So you've been to multiple firehouse subs that all yep. suffer from the same problem. Yep. All right. I actually like Subway, and I get... Me and Aaron get, like, the same damn thing. It's yeah, stupid. It's down to, like, Except one ingredient. It's down almost. to, like, oh, I happen to get jalapenos on mine sometimes, yeah, almost. I, and I happen to get two cheeses. And that's really the only difference, huh? Yeah, we end up getting the spicy Italian on the Italian herbs and cheese this bread. This shouldn't be a topic we're talking about. Why? Whatever is the matter. This is so pedantic and stupid. <laughs> like, it's but, not. We're talking about food. This whole thing's been pedantic and stupid then. Uh, What's pedantic? The thought was boring. I, I don't know. I miss you. Though. This whole thing's been pandemic it's, and stupid. This, yes, thank you. Please, <laughs> I'm pandemic. Please lower the. Okay, we've talked about Subway. We've talked about fast food. Favorite candy? Your eyes about fell out of your head, Justin. <laughs> That's because I'm like, it's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite candy, eh? I'm gonna say uh, either Reese's or Snickers. Favorite candy, Aaron? There's a Reese's and a Snickers in front of you. You can only take one. Obviously, he's going to reach for the Reese's cups. I like the Reese's cups. You better. If it, is it is it one <laughs> Reese's? Is it one Reese's cup or is it two? Okay, all right. Look, it's, it's a two, full, but it's a whole size okay, Snickers bar. It's a whole size. Yeah, that's a, what I'm like. It's a full size Snickers bar. So it's really a, short. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Smash things. It's a full size. Oh, what I did, I just thrashed around violently because I'm trying to lay out this scene. There's a full this size. This for real. There's guys. a full size Snickers bar and one of those like two packs of the Reese's cup, like what you would normally yeah, get. Yeah, a normal, not just a single. Yeah. So what do you pick up, Aaron? You can only pick one. You get a glass of milk with it. What do you pick up? Okay, with the I don't know why, but with the milk, it changes to Reese's like clearly. Aaron, you only get one. The Reese's and the milk. There's no milk. Damn it. Um, Aaron, you only get one. Yeah, no, it's going to be Snickers. Snickers? If it's just one Reese's cup, I, I would choose the, the Snickers. If it's, if it's a two-pack of Reese's cups, how do they normally go? But you, but you just said uh, you only get one. <laughs> so I just said Reese's. I picked the Reese's I'm pack, saying and you were just like, you I'm only saying, get one. You I'm saying one. you only pick one candy. You said with the milk, I'll take Reese's. Yeah. There's no milk. There's a two-pack of Reese's and a full-size Snickers bar. What do you pick up? Okay, fine. In this situation, I think I'll just pick a you go, Snickers. Fuck it, Milk Duds. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you win with Milk Duds. All right, what about you, Justin? Oh, man, it's going to be probably, like, Milk Duds, maybe. Because I, I like Milky Ways. I like Milk Duds. I like Snickers. But, like, there's other forms of Snickers that are better. Like, the ice cream bar Snickers are, like, a thousand times Never superior. Heard of that. That you know but that's like ice, ice cream. cream. It is like ice cream, but like oh wait, yeah, still, no, if it, I think I've even had one. Still yeah, infinitely that, superior. But I'm like, I don't know, Snickers is good, but it's not my favorite. Some so Twix is good. also good. <sighs> but peanut butter M Ms though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you gotta choose one. Okay, what between peanut butter M Ms and milk duds? Choose one. I gotta of pick candies. one of my one of my children has to die. Okay, I'm gonna pick fucking peanut butter M Ms. So peanut butter M&M's for yep, you. it's like I have Snickers M&M's for and you. I have a Reese's. F fuck all of you. And Sour Patch Arrgh. Kids for me. Man, they don't make, like, you barely see peanut butter M&M's around. It's a hard, hard out there for a pimp. What? What are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Yeah. I don't see them like... That's probably because when I walked into my dad's house when I came back, he had, like, bags of candy that he had gotten for trick-or-treaters, but they never showed up. So he had, like, one of those huge bags with the individual, um mini bags. He had one of those of regular M&M's, one of those of peanut M&M's, one of those of fun size Twix, and one of those of peanut butter M&M's. And they were like... Can we raid those guys? <laughs> you, do, you, do you want to bring these? And it's, you eat I, all those? I'll, I'll, I'll grab a few, but it's funny because the peanut butter M&M's are his favorites. Oh, really? So he'll sit there, he'll like grab three and sit down to watch TV and like steadily just like eat them. That's because he's got good taste. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love peanut butter M&M's. They're good. And it's awesome when you take one and then you like eat away the candy shell and just leave the soft peanut butter core and you're like, fuck yeah. Skills you didn't even know. And then you eat the peanut butter core. God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? Oh, man, just... You know what I don't really like though that much? What? Twizzlers. Yeah. I don't really like Twizzlers. I like, like Twizzlers. I like... They're... A, Twizzlers is what you use when you're, like, doing arts and crafts with candy that you don't need to, like, worry about, like, ruining good candy. I don't know. I've yeah. had, like, those fruits... There's, there's like I've a had, like, better fruit chews yeah. than Twizzlers. 
There's like a difference too between like the peel apart kind and like the. There is the, a distinct difference. Yeah, and I do not like the solid ones. The straw ones. Yeah. But I do like the... Um, the peel apart kind has a apart. lot better yeah. taste to them. I like the peel apart kind. And are a lot chewier. The other the other kind is just like straight, slightly it's crumbly like, licorice. It's like candy jerky. Yeah. It's quite, quite literally is like candy jerky. But uh, thank you guys for joining us for our long and involved discussion about food and drink. That has only made us hungry. And stuffing our face, which actually was my plan all along. So this is hilarious. Man, but um, <laughs> but either way, as always, thanks for listening in. And remember, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. <laughs>